Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew here from the original workflow team and today I'm super excited to show you about the updates to Shortcuts 2.1. We've got some new actions to take advantage of, Apple fixed some bugs, plus there's some really exciting updates for Shortcuts working with HomePod. So one of the first questions you might have is why is it already on version 2.1? This is happening because Shortcuts is actually built off of the Workflow app, which Apple acquired at version 1.7 and turned into Shortcuts. Since it's continuing off an earlier version of an app that was already created, they just continued along from there. The main new features today are the new actions that they've added. Within weather, we have get current weather, get weather forecast, and get details of weather conditions. Get current weather can either be set to the current location or a custom location and passes out weather conditions for the selected place. Get weather forecast either returns an hourly forecast or a daily forecast, either returning 24 pieces of information or 11, one for the current condition and one for a 10 day forecast. Plus, get details of weather condition also allows you to pull out a bunch of different information. In the clock action, we have set timer, set alarm, and toggle alarm. Set timer does what it sounds like and just starts a countdown in the timer app, but yeah, you can still only set one. However, thanks to the new alarm actions, you can get around that. You can set alarms to go off dynamically, you can use the number actions to create some calculations and then set your alarms based off of those, or you can go in and toggle alarms that might already be set. Plus, I'm going through all the timer shortcuts that I had originally added in the gallery and actually just use reminders and then changing those to work with the timer actions now. I already added some logic to my latest agenda video so that whenever I run it before 8 a.m., it'll just go ahead and turn off the alarm because I honestly got sick of it going off after I was already awake. The other new actions are measurement and convert measurement. And what these let you do is associate a number with a type and a unit so that you can then have that measurement be converted into something else properly. You can do things like convert from feet to meters, cups to milliliters, and tons more. There's actually 21 different categories and over 156 different types of units. Plus, tons of the measurements in there are just fun to say. There's kilojoules, fathoms, furlongs, parsecs, and hectopascals, if you're into that kind of thing. One action that's really nice for photographers is get latest photo import so that if you've added any photos from your SD card into your library, then you can use this shortcut to just grab those right away. I can see this being super useful for some pro workflows. And last but not least, they actually snuck in some functionality for the HomePod. Previously, if you had run a Siri suggestion from the HomePod, it would start playback there automatically, but this wasn't working with your normal shortcut. Anytime you run a shortcut from a HomePod that has a Play Music or Play Media Siri suggestion for it, your phone will automatically connect via AirPlay to your HomePod and start playback on the HomePod right away. It seems that many people don't actually see the value of a HomePod, but there's actually tons of functionality that you can build yourself using the Shortcuts app. I'll make sure to cover this in another video too, so look out for that. Now there's also some bug fixes that were sorely needed. The shortcut sync order is finally working again, so all 900 of my shortcuts are actually in sync and don't just move around every time I move one because that was actually driving me crazy. Now I fully organized my entire library again. Some of the iTunes and App Store actions were actually throwing errors every single time you try to use them, so I've been holding off on sharing those. Look for those in the coming weeks. And also apparently there were some people whose app was just crashing on launch, so that should be fixed by now. They also added the ability to stop sharing any shortcuts that you might have sent to other people using the iCloud links. That way, if you accidentally put any personal information in your shortcut, you can just remove it. Now, before I go, I wanna drop some shortcuts that take advantage of these new actions. I've got one for the weather action that just gets the current weather conditions and also formats it all very nicely so that Siri isn't reading excessive amounts of information for me. I've converted the golden hour shortcut that I shared on the great Automators podcast from Relay FM and set that up so that it actually shows me tonight's golden hour and tomorrow morning. And then I even took that another level further and set it up to schedule golden hour on my calendar for the next week. So I can basically know every day coming up whether I should go and take photos in the morning or not. I'm trying to build these huge multi-tools that take advantage of all of the measurement actions. So those are coming in another video as well. I'll be sharing more apps that work with Siri suggestions to take advantage of this HomePod feature. And I'll be building some new daily routine shortcuts that you can use with Siri or just with the Shortcuts app. And that's what's new in Shortcuts 2.1. These updates are super exciting because every single new action that we get quite literally opens up millions of possibilities. So I hope to see more of this happen with Shortcuts in the future. Complexity made simple for most people, but then also let me go as deep as I want to. Have fun with all these new actions and definitely send me any cool shortcuts you're building. See you next time.